Hi friends! In my last Beauty Tips video on foundation, I did promise to do a skincare video. And so I wanted to do it today, and I feel it's vitally important to the look of your makeup around your eyes and the foundation. Uh, if it's sinking in lines or having you're having dry spots that show, um, it really would be a good idea to improve your skin care routine. So let's start with basics. First of all, of course, eating a balanced diet and at least taking a multiple vitamin is a good idea. Now let's talk about what is not good for your skin. We're trying to age gracefully, so let us avoid things that really age your skin quickly. One is smoking. Smoking uh, is very bad for your skin, so if you don't smoke, I would say don't start. And if you are smoking, I recommend to get help quitting smoking. Also alcohol. Alcohol should only be consumed occasionally and not on a daily basis. That will also age your skin if indulged in frequently. And then you see here my SPF 50. It's a liquid form. Uh, you need to avoid too much sun exposure. We do like to be out in the sun, but before you go out, please remember your SPF 50 or higher uh, on exposed areas. Leave it where you might find it as you run out the door or in your purse or in your car. There are also, of course, spray forms if you feel that's easier to spray your arms and legs and to spray your children before exposure and then also after swimming. Okay, let's move on to the next subject. Your skincare routine is very important and to perform it in the morning and before bed. So in the nighttime, of course, you will, would have your makeup on and it's important to use at least two cleansing uh, items, whether it's oil and a cleanser, at least two cleansings. Um, of course, this one here is for eye makeup removal. This works pretty good. I also have liked the Elizabeth Arden one in the past. Um, now this, I just currently have Pond's Cold Cream um, to remove makeup, but oils are also good. Coconut oil or cleansing oils. And then for the second cleanse, once makeup is off, um, I would suggest something like this gentle cream cleanser I use. Uh, this one has salicylic acid and I would look for um, AHAs or BHAs to exfoliate your skin whether you have them in your cleanser as I do or perhaps a form that you leave on your skin um, and just be careful with that and start um, a lower dose to see how it works on your skin. Some want to use toners. Uh, now we know that alcohol-based toners are not good for your skin. But look for something without alcohol. Um, different skincare lines are now, uh, excuse me, now calling them an essence and Elizabeth Arden does have an essence. Okay friends, let's move on to moisture and also creating a barrier for your skin. In the 
foundation video I did show this facial spray. Uh, the bottle is a little big for a purse, but you can get a smaller one if you want to refresh your makeup during the day. It's also good for uh, waking up and being refreshed in the morning, spraying it on when you're hot. Um, there's various ways to use the facial spray, which is kind of fun. It adds valuable moisture as well. Now this uh, neck and chest cream is Gold Bond. I've discovered that it works really well, short of a facelift, of course, but it does help tighten up the skin somewhat, the jowls and turkey neck, and it's not very much expense at all, and it's good also for your chest. Um, now, eye cream, some believe in eye cream, some don't, but eye cream, I use eye cream not only for the moisture and wrinkles prevention, but eye cream does not tend to seep into your eye. So if you use it, um, tap it on your orbital bone all around your eye. And I just feel that eye creams do not seep into your eye and cause a problem through the day or in the evening. Um, this one is L'Oreal Eye Defense. It has hyaluronic acid. There's also good ones. I also like the Elizabeth Arden Eye Cream with ceramides in it. Okay, and then in regards to a skin barrier, some enjoy using a thick cream, which does help uh, hold in moisture, um, such as this Nivea cream. I feel it's pleasantly scented. It's very thick, and it will create a barrier for your skin. Uh, I don't really think it would be good to have that under your foundation. But before bed, it would be good to use on top of your other moistures. I use it on my feet before bed and elbows, uh, rough areas, etc. And again, this one is reasonably priced, I would say. So there's a plug <laughs> for Nivea. It lasts a long time, too. Um, but... Um, if you were to use it on your face before bed, I think that would be uh, helpful to create a barrier to hold in your moisture as you sleep. Okay, friends, now a word about healing your skin, whether you have abrasions, various cuts or sores. Um, many reach for Neosporin, which it's probably a good idea at the beginning of your mishap or your sore. But we've found that this Elizabeth Arden 8-hour cream is very good. It's phenomenal to speed up healing. Recently, my husband hurt his face. He was working and something sprang up and hit him between the eyes. It made a very ugly, big sore right between his eyes. And so I suggested he use this, and he was very pleasantly surprised. He loved it. He put some on every day with a Q-tip. And before you know it, um, you couldn't see his sore anymore. So I recommend Elizabeth Arden 8-Hour Cream. If you're sensitive to smells, then perhaps um, use the non-fragranced type. Okay, friends. Now you've been seeing my hand go in and out. My hand's going in and out on these videos. <laughs> and they're looking pretty old. And I have spots. So you might be wondering, what does she know about skin care? Well, sometimes you learn by mistakes 
forgetting things, um, sad experiences such as that. And I did not use my SPF on the back of my hands um, in my 20s, 30s, actually 40s and 50s. I just recently started buckling down to put it on. And so um, it's a sad fact that sometimes you learn from what you fail to do or do incorrectly. So let this be a lesson to you. Um, you know, to do it, because you don't want hands like that, do you? I don't think so. I don't either, but I'm the one who failed. So, anyways, that's a lesson on not using SPF on your hands, so I would do it. <laughs> okay, now this is my best skincare secret of all. Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Capsules. Now, when you first look at these like I did, I thought, wow, look at these little tiny things. Um, isn't that expensive? Um, and then you use them up and need more um, and inconvenient. But actually, it's extremely convenient for skincare serum. Each little capsule keeps the serum fresh until you open it. And if you see the little knob, you can twist off the little knob or cut it. And I do this, you're wondering what is this little glass? Well, you can use half in the morning and half at night and then I just lean it up against this glass and gingerly place it so it doesn't seep out. You can also put it in a hairbrush. That sounds really funny, but the capsules will stand up in a hairbrush and not fall over. So that's probably a better idea, a clean airbrush. But these are amazing. I've totally relied on these and used on a continual basis. It does wonders for your skin. There's ceramides and many other ingredients for good skin. Um, when I first discovered these back when I was first in cosmetics, they give you um, a sample of seven. Hopefully you can get some on the website or in a cosmetics counter. A lot of counters don't have Arden anymore, but if you got a sample of seven, you will be amazed. I, My upper lip at the time, I was in my 40s. It almost looked like I had hair on my upper lip, but it was wrinkling, which this took care of. But it makes your skin wonderful using continuously, and I really recommend it. I'm not paid by Elizabeth Arden. I haven't been for years. And so far, I do not have any payment from these videos. Maybe someday, but this is really what I use and really what I love and really what I recommend. They're awesome. There's other types. You can get other types. But this is a wonderful oil, and it's not greasy. It does absorb. I can put it on in the morning in about 15-20 minutes. I'm doing my makeup and it works beautifully. So this is really my heartfelt recommendation. And so I and also I should tell you that um, now that Revlon bought them, there are many sales. I've gotten these half price. And so if you keep looking on the website or Amazon, you will find some nice sales to cut down on the cost, but these are totally worth it, and it is my heartfelt recommendation to use these on a continual basis.